as you probably know, I applaud those who ridicule uh, those who don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Now, if you're going to do that, you better know what the fuck you're talking about. Case in point, Thunderfoot. <laughs> Thunderfoot recently made a video about Kent Hovind. Kent Hovind is one of the biggest idiots in the world, might I add. Um, but Thunderfoot managed to put himself on practically equal footing with Kent Hovind by making a ridiculous math error. A ridiculous math error, and then immediately proceeding to criticize Hovind for making his own ridiculous math error. Here's what I'm talking about. Which you can demonstrate by simple thermodynamics. You know, conservation of energy would have cooked every living thing on Earth if that fell to the Earth. I mean, let me just give you a quick demonstration. This is a Titan I rocket, and it carried enough energy to put a couple of tons into space. That's a, a couple of cubic meters of ice. And rocket engines typically have quite a good efficiency, between 50 and 70 percent. That is, if you were to drop a couple of tons of ice from space, this is about the energy that would be released. And Kent is proposing dropping at least a ton of ice per every square meter of Earth. Basically, every square meter on Earth would have about this much energy dumped into it. Or your claims that one drop of water could cover the entire Earth if you only spread it thinly enough. These scoffers are willingly ignorant. That means dumb on purpose. You say, come on, is it possible to cover the Earth with water? Well, theoretically, one drop a world will cover the water. One drop of water will cover the world, if you spread it real thin. Which was only wrong by a factor of a trillion. That is, the minimum amount of water to cover the Earth is about 150,000 tons. Not one drop. Okay, so Thunderfoot's calculation about the amount of water that it takes to cover the Earth is accurate. Kent, or, um... And, and that is to also say that Kent Hovind's estimate uh, that one drop could cover the world is completely inaccurate. But pre immediately preceding that, in, in like a poetic way, Thunderfoot made an insane miscalculation of his own where he claimed that the energy of a Titan I rocket was how much energy you would get out of um, a, a ton of ice falling from space. Well, I've run the numbers here. Um, you can check my math down below, but uh, it turns out that the amount of energy that you get from one ton of, of ice falling from the, uh, a barostatic equilibrium altitude, uh, where it would be if it were on a canopy around the Earth, um, that amount of energy is equal to, uh, what was it, about, it was about 200 megajoules of energy. Let's again check my math there. Um, that is enough energy to melt about half of it. So, in fact, it wouldn't even cause the temperature to rise. And, in fact, the ice would chill down the surface of the Earth. On the other hand, the amount of energy in a Titan I rocket um, per ton of payload, or, or for the amount, total amount of energy in a Titan I rocket, is equal to about... 12 or, or 10 to the 12th joules, one terajoule, which is 5,000 times more than the amount of energy that actually, you know, would be released from dropping that ice. So Thunderfoot is off by a factor of 5,000. You can check my math there. All right, it's based off of the enthalpy of combustion of the fuel itself. Um, yeah, I calculated the, the specific energy density of, of RP1 liquid oxygen uh, using uh, dodecane as my, uh, my analog for RP1. And uh, anyways, all the math's down there. Thunderfoot, you are off by a, a, an order, by three or four orders of magnitude here, right? 
5,000 times more energy than what you were sent, or 5,000 times less energy is the actuality than, than what you're talking about. So how do you have the integrity to, to go on and ridicule Hoven for making an analogy that was off by um, 12 orders of magnitude? It's pretty damn hypocritical. Do your fucking research. Do your math right. Otherwise, you lose all of this credibility. You took that whole big bucket of credibility that you earned from your elegant paper on uh, alkali metal water explosions um, and just dumped it all out. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't know anything about rocket science. Rockets engines are up to 70% uh, efficient in accelerating their propellant out the back, not in the total efficiency of the launch system. Uh, come on, you should know better than this. You're a chemist. I'm just a chemistry student. I'm an undergraduate, and I could do these calculations.